Hi guys and welcome to this Bootstrap 4 with Brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. In our last video, uh, if we go down there, we embedded a YouTube video into our site and we we made it autoplay or we made it static first and then we made it autoplay. Now, like I said in the last video, when I go to sites and they've got a video playing, that's fine. But if it's got audio playing automatically, it really annoys me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a, a YouTube video and have the actual audio muted, but still have the video playing. And to do that, we're going to have to use a bit of JavaScript. Um, we're using uh, Brackets Text Editor in this video. It's free to download. You can get the link below this video. It's awesome. And like I say, it's free to download and use. And it's got some great extensions that you can add to make your coding even quicker. And they're all free as well. So if you haven't done so, I recommend you go to brackets.io and download it. OK. So we want to embed a video here and we want it to be playing just like this, but we don't want to have any volume there. And for this video, I need to uh, thank somebody else. I actually, I can write a bit of JavaScript, but this I found is already written for me by labnull.org. And again, I'll put this link below the video so you can go there if you want to use this code. And they've write, written this nice script. and. Don't panic if you've never put any script into your site before. It's really easy. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So let's first, let's get rid of the video that we've got there. Let's go back to our index.html. For those of you not been following along, we created this site from scratch. Here's our folder with our project files in it. Here's our index.html. And the other file that we've been using mainly is this CSS folder here inside the custom CSS file that we created for the styles. And to open it with your brackets, all you need to do is right click, hit open with brackets. Or the old school way, just hit file, open and navigate to your file. So here's where we left off. Here's our section with our title and our call to action button and a bit of text there. Here's our embedded video that we embedded last time. So I'm going to delete that because we're going to use a different method to do it this time. And like I say, we're using a bit of JavaScript, but don't let that panic you. I'll show you exactly what to do. And it's really easy. We're just going to basically cut and paste what these fine people have done for us. So I'm going to just take a title here copy it down control C bit of space under our last bit of script there I'm going to get rid of that space there and I'm going to call it a uh, video so we know what this script is actually doing right let's go back to that site here it is and like I say I'll put this link below uh, labnull.org and I'm going to copy the whole thing. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to, for the time being, I'm going to copy from the opening script tag here all the way down to the closing script tag because I'll come back and I'll, I'll grab this bit in, in just a moment. So I, from the beginning script tag, the first script tag, so there's two there. There's the top one and then there's the bottom one with this function code inside so I'm going to copy that control C then back to my site I'm going to paste this below this little title that I put in there there we are let's just line it up a little bit better and don't worry you don't have to know JavaScript but they've written everything in here for us nicely They've got some beautiful descriptions which is great so we're going to put our video ID in here this is the height and width that it's going to display at. You can change these, but bear in mind you want to keep it to the same aspect as your video. Or else it's going to look a little strange, stretched or, or, or pulled. 
<laughs> if you want it to auto play it's it's automatically set to auto play if you don't want it to auto play you can change that to zero but if you don't want it to auto play you may as well use our embed method in the last video if you want the controls to be visible they are so that's one again if you don't want them change that to a zero uh, show info it's not going to show the info branding uh, that this is going to hide the YouTube logo again one and zero zero is no one is yes if you want it to loop play round and round again once it gets to the end it'll start again yep that's on um, hide the full screen button hide closed captions hide video annotations and this is going to hide the video controls when it's playing again you can change these to one if you do if you want them to show so that's just a brief explanation uh, I'm not going to go into what functions do take a take a JavaScript course if you want to learn that it's, it's awesome actually that's one of the best languages you can learn I like I say I know a bit of it but this has made it so easy and we're going to use this right enough chatting about JavaScript so we've pasted our script in here and this is the API that it's going to use for it and what we need to do is go to our YouTube page of the video that we want and we need to put the ID in there so let's go to our YouTube page here's a video we were using and you can either hit the share button again and I'll give you that the ID right here or you can just go up to the URL at the top and take it from there and it's that last little bit just past that forward slash right there we just need to copy that easier said than done <laughs> it's selecting the whole thing I'm just gonna grab it from up here uh, there we go just make sure you don't get that equal sign in there control C to copy back to our brackets editor now we want to put this in between those little inverted commas there don't cut off those commas you want those there it will not work if you cut those off so it's, it's told it to play it with this video player and it's told it the ID of the YouTube video that's all we need to do with our JavaScript there it's pretty easy so let's save that control s now what we need to do is go back to that uh, site with the code labnol.org now I need this little bit right here which is a div that's just telling it this is where we want to put the video it's where that, that code wants to display that video that's going to display so I'm going to copy that from the opening div tag to the closing div tag inclusive back to our brackets let's scroll up to where we left off now here's how, here in this second column here is where we had our embedded YouTube video iframe just now and I'm just going to plonk that div inside there so I copied it control C and I've just hit control V and pasted it in there that is it job done now hopefully when we go back to our site if I save it control S make sure you save your changes and refresh the site <laughs> of course we've got it playing from the last last embed just to demonstrate um, that's how it's going to play with the embed method you're going to have that audio playing now what I'm going to do is I'll refresh and you probably won't see a lot of changes but the video is going to start playing but you should not hear any audio so let's refresh and there we go it's automatically got that audio muted which is great because when you load the site it's there and it's going to catch your eye because it's playing but you haven't got the annoyance of having audio playing if you you know for me when I land on a site and it's got audio playing automatically um, most of the time it really annoys me so that is how you embed a video and have the audio muted and the video playing I hope you found that useful um, once again thanks go out to uh, 
w.labnol.org for that bit of JavaScript there. It's really useful. So like I say, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in web development, take one of our courses below. We've got some great web design courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. There's also some great free courses down there. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.